and stuff like that could I you know stuff like that of course you know I'm more open to doing that because a lot of times people would say oh you know meet her to do the transaction then when you get there they're like oh I gotta go to the bank and oh I gotta do this and oh I don't have any time though you know and I think that's extremely disrespectful to me and that's something that happened to me in the past so yeah um yeah um, so what, okay, so a lot of persons also, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, a lot of persons try to find the cheaper routes and all, you know, and that's why I think that you should just, you know, wait and save up and make sure you have enough money to still cover everything. So a lot of persons would, you know, they're coming by themselves, they're rent some little cheap room that probably is not even properly, um, sanitized or anything like that, but okay, they're rather to rent that. Um, we'll probably pay $50 a night or something like that and... The thing is, the day of your surgery, somebody has to sign you in and sign you out. They're not going to release you unless somebody is there, you know? And that's something that I kind of think it is crazy. And as much as I wanted this surgery and stuff like that, I had waited until I had enough money. I had the time, you know? I had waited. Because it is crazy to do a surgery, have a random person sign you out. You go to this place and you just there by yourself, you know? For especially for the first day. That is just crazy, you know? And I'm not talking um bad about it because oh, you know, you know, I have my mom is a nurse, so I um if people are interested, I would normally um let my mom help them out and so forth. It's not even because of that, but it is just crazy. Like I don't know if people don't take the surgery seriously. Or they think that, oh, I'm, I'll be fine and stuff like that. But that's something that is extremely crazy to me, you know? So, yeah. That's on that. Um, damn. Let me see if I could check my email to see if there's any other questions that I might not be answering. Let's see. Okay, so the shipping. So once you guys decide that, okay, you know, I'm ready to order, go ahead and send me an email with your full address and your contact number. I will send the invoice out the same time. As soon as I see it, I'll send it out and um, I'll send it with the amount of money that the shipping is going to cost because the shipping varies by your location. So that's what um, this one was about. Um, let's see this one. Okay, so for everybody who is nervous, that was a nervous um, email, you know, you're going to be fine. You know, if this is something that you really want and stuff like that, I was extremely excited for my surgery. When I got nervous was when they had put the things in my arm and, you know, I was walking into the surgery room and I'm like, Jesus. I'm like, yo, I really had to do this. <laughs> That's when I got nervous and by the time, I didn't even be, got ner I didn't have... I wasn't even nervous for a long time because by the time I laid down, I'm like, where's Dr. Hazan? Tell him I need 2,000 cc. And he's like, the, the anesthesiologist is like, oh, he's on that side. Tell him. And that was out. I was dead ass out. So, you know, it's a journey. It's a, it's a you know, starting off is going to be an annoying journey. But, you know, it's an amazing journey. Especially now, when I put on my swimsuit and stuff like that, you know, like I, I think my body is, no. I know my body is freaking like flawless, you know, like there's a lot of thirsty ass people on the road and it does get irritating and I don't really like it, you know, because the way how some people act when they see you like they weren't raised by uh, a freaking, uh, by a mom, you know, so yeah, so, so yeah. So somebody else said, "Oh, what if they're not um what if they're not having a Brazilian um butt lift? What if they're just having lipo? That is totally fine. It's very similar because I had on I had liposuction too. You know, you would wear a garment also you could use um um uh, my the basic would probably, you know, be a better option and what I'll probably do is I mix it, you know, to to actually you know make you actually i'm sorry for it to actually work for you if you're doing your boobs only or anything like that i'll find it i'll find you a 
package and I'll mail it out for you, okay? Um, do you know Ben Chap? I don't need after surgery. Okay, so somebody was asking if I know by any chance how much they'll need after surgery, how much money they would need, and their stage two for hugs. Okay, so you will need either my premium package or ultimate package after surgery. I always think you should probably have a thousand dollars left, but after you pay every single thing and you buy all your supplies, you should have at least a thousand dollar left back just in case there's something that you run out of or there's something that is not working for you that you need. You know, I do think you should have um, leftover money for that. Um, perfect example was um, I had everything packed up at my house because I thought that, oh, I'm going to just come out of surgery. My mom's going to drive me to my house because I wasn't living with her and I was just going to go sleep and I had this. I came out of surgery, not the hell out. Like literally. I'm like, what did I do to myself? Da, 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 da. I felt like, I don't know if I was high as kite. There was a construction building in my brain. Like it was just like bang, 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 bang. It was just crazy, but I don't regret it. But anyways, when I went there, my laxative, when it was finally time for me to use the bathroom, I bought this, I don't remember the name of it, but it was purple and white. And I remember I drank that. I think we're drinking our tablets. It no drinking. It didn't work. I tried um, prune juice. It didn't work. I tried every, and that's when my money, because I didn't expect my mom to pay for that, you know. And that's when I had to give her my card for her to be buying stuff, buying stuff, buying stuff, buying stuff for me to feel better for this whatever, whatever to get out. And eventually, she bought something and sticked it up my butt. And that's what worked after me buying probably 10 other stuff. So, yes, you should make sure that you have, you know, a saving. To be honest, if I had a two-bedroom um, house, because I live in a condo, like a high-rise, you could probably see the buildings down there. <laughs> yeah, see? So, yeah, so I only have, like, a one-bedroom condo, and it's no one crashing on my living room, but no. <laughs> but, yeah, if I had a two-bedroom, you know, I would have actually, you know, helped out some people, depending on the vibe and stuff like that, you know? I would have just, you know, rented them the other room and I'll just care for them or have my mom come in and stuff like that. They pay my mom and all, you know, because when I was doing it, I'm just a bare faced person and I get up and I just do things and all, you know, and I don't really look for help or anything like that. But not everybody can be like that, you know, because it's a very nerve wracking um, situation, especially with everything that we're hearing in the news right now. So, yeah. So someone asked if I communicate by email or by phone. For no email, which would be curvy gals and the gals is G Y A L S at gmail.com. Um someone asked if I had financing available on the on the packages. Um no. Um no, because I just think that you know it's not that expensive. And if there is financing, something is always going to happen like, oh, you know, I'm not going to do the surgery anymore and this, that, and the other. And I don't want to be in any problems with nobody. And that's what I realized, you know, people, they won't mess with the doctor. The doctor give them a price and that's that and they'll take it. But when somebody else is starting off a small business and so forth, you know, totally crazy. So, yeah, um... I'm going through. All right, guys. So that's all the email that I'm really seeing for now. You know, most persons have the same question. So thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know if you guys want to see another picture of the bod. But yes. One thing I still love.